Hi, I'm Georgie. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. We're going to be practicing Kriya to Conquer Sleep. This can be done first thing in the morning or before bed and is said to help eliminate disturbances in your sleep throughout the night and give you more energy and alertness throughout your day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more yoga, meditation and well-being videos. So when you're ready, let's begin. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position, closing the eyes, taking a moment before reaching the fingertips to the ground and sweeping the arms above the head, reaching in prayer above the heart and bringing that prayer to heart center. Again, sweep the arms up through the prana, through your aura and exhaling that prayer to heart. Last one. This time we're gonna keep our hands in prayer at our heart and we're gonna tune in with Om Namo Gurudev Namo, the Adi Mantra, I bow to the divine guru or wisdom within. Taking a deep breath. Om. Taking a moment to listen to the silence at the end of the chant. The reverberation is through your body, through your cells, through your nervous system. Connecting to that higher self, your intuition. Releasing the hands. We're gonna make our way to our first posture. Coming into rock pose and so kneeling with our heels tucked together as close as possible, we're going to lean back with our hands on our knees about 30 degrees. I'm going to hold this posture and take long, deep breathing. These long, deep breaths are going to help activate our parasympathetic nervous system. It's our parasympathetic nervous system which is responsible for that rest and relaxation that helps us to recover after the activation of our sympathetic nervous system, our fight or flight. In today's modern society, we can feel that we're living in that state of fight or flight, constant bombardment to our senses, constant availability through our phones, notifications, feelings of expectation. This is just gonna help us sink more easily into feelings of relaxation. Taking a deep breath in, suspend the breath, exhaling, coming into an upright position. This time we're gonna grab hold of our opposite elbows, almost giving ourselves a hug, and then trying to keep our hips still. We're gonna rotate the torso in a circle from right to left, becoming aware of the sensation of the spine as it moves in this slightly alien way, allowing the hug across our chest to feel safe and secure. Again, helping us activate our parasympathetic nervous system, that feeling of safety and security, so that we can rest and recover. Taking a deep breath in, suspending the breath. And when you're ready, exhaling, bringing our legs out in front of us for body drops. If you can, lift the heels off the floor, do so. But we're just gonna lift the hips and drop them back down to the ground, feeling that shake through the body. Allow that shake to just gently 
bounce out any tensions or worries in the body. Inhaling to lift, exhaling as we drop. We're going to do 20 of these before coming back onto our knees, taking hold of the opposite elbows this time and rotating our torso in the opposite way. These spinal rotations are like a gentle version of Basti Kriya to help cleanse our insides and our intestines. Removing any toxins which may keep the body awake, keep us overstimulated, preventing us from accessing deep and restful sleep. a neutral position, taking a deep breath, suspending this breath before exhaling and making our way back into body drops. Inhaling as we lift our pelvis and our hips, exhaling as it drops to the floor. This also stimulates and balances our root chakra. Our root chakra is responsible for feelings of safety and security. Again, helping us feel more secure, more safe, more protected. From here, we're going to come into a bridge pose, placing our feet flat on the floor, our hands behind us, lifting the pelvis up as high as we can. If it feels safe and comfortable for you to do so, allow the head to come back. And we're going to take normal breathing here. Keep the hips lifted up to the sky. Try to focus on those feelings of strength, opening the chest and toning the low back stimulating the respiratory and the endocrine system. This is responsible for our hormones, helping to undo some of the damage the cortisol, the stress hormone can do. When you're ready, lowering yourself, those hips back down to the ground, bringing the legs back out in front of us for 10 more body drops. Give this all you've got. Before making our way back into Kundalini Bridge, reverse tabletop, and this time we're gonna take breath of fire. A powerful exhalation through the nose as we draw the navel back to the spine. Helping to balance the parasympathetic nervous system by focusing on the exhale, but at the same time energizing us and making us feel revitalized through igniting our inner fire, our third chakra, and flooding the body and the brain with fresh oxygen. Keep going, this is a challenging breath. If this doesn't feel comfortable, resume those long deep breathing or perhaps if you're pregnant or the first few days of your moon cycle. Keep going. Again, taking a deep breath in, holding the breath, holding the posture, and we're gonna come into a savasana, a relaxation, just for a moment. Allowing your feet to drop out to the sides, your palms to face up. Long, slow, deep breaths. Perhaps being aware of the feelings and the sensation in the body after that powerful breath. as it pulses. Beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. 
taking a spinal roll into a seated position before coming back into Kundalini Bridge. This time, however, we're going to extend the right leg up 60 degrees, pointing the toes. Again, breath of fire. Increasing the challenge, increasing the fire. Reverse tabletop, Ardha Pravatanasana, helps to also open the heart, the heart space. Anytime we're opening the heart, we're helping to increase feelings of gratitude. Taking a deep breath in, suspending the breath. And then when you're ready, exhale. We're going to engage Mulaban, so we're going to squeeze that root lock, our sex organs, our anal organs, our lower belly. And exhale, lowering the hips down before lifting the hips back up, extending the left leg this time, resuming breath of fire. If this is too much for you, feel free to do this in a seated position, keeping the hips on the floor and just extending that leg 90 degrees. Inhale, suspending the breath, holding the posture. Exhaling again, engaging Mulaband, our root lock. And then relaxing back down. Taking a moment after this powerful posture just to recalibrate yourself before making your way into a standing pose for Kundalini Crow. Taking the feet out at 45 degrees, hip width apart, arms in front of you, palms facing down. Simply squat back. Inhale as you stand up, exhale as you squat. Remember to try to keep the spine as straight as possible. And we're going to take 30 of these crow poses together. If you can't quite complete 30, that's absolutely fine. It's something to build towards. Again, we're continuing to balance that root chakra, but also help aiding the digestion that we did earlier, removing those toxins from the body. shaking it out before we make our way onto our front for cobra kicks. Feel free to take a sphinx modification where your elbows are underneath your shoulders and you're drawing the elbows back towards the body or take cobra by bringing the hands underneath the shoulders and extending keeping the pelvis on the ground. I'm going to be taking sphinx pose focusing on keeping my pelvis on the ground drawing the shoulders back, engaging the heart, taking long, deep breaths, focusing on the sensations, by focusing on the extension of the chest, the lifting of the chest, the drawing back of the shoulders. We're helping to stretch the intercostal muscles which line our ribs. If we can stretch these, that allows the lungs and the chest to expand further. And this ability to access deeper breaths is what's going to help us to have these deep and restful sleeps. Beginning with the right leg, we're going to take buttock kicks now. Inhale as you extend the leg, exhaling as the heel strikes the buttocks. Continuing to stimulate that root chakra.
and then we're going to take it over to the other side striking the left buttock with the left heel inhaling as we extend the leg exhaling as the as we strike allowing yourself to feel safe and secure Taking a deep breath in, perhaps taking the fullest extension of the pose available for you, whether that's Sphinx or Cobra, before exhaling, relaxing down, pressing back through a child's pose so that we come onto our knees in rock pose again. Heels making contact with the sit bones, arms coming above the head in prayer and bending the elbows slightly. Raise the eyes up and focus in the center of the skull the pineal gland through the top of the head. The pineal gland, the small endocrine gland in the brain, which again produces chemicals that are going to help us to sleep. The melatonin, which is derived from our serotonin, modulates our sleep patterns, but both seasonal cycles and our circadian rhythms. So if we can boost this through this mini meditation, focusing and bringing our awareness there, it's going to help enhance our sleep. Again, taking a deep breath, suspending the breath, holding the posture. Before exhaling, we're going to make our way into a short, deep relaxation. Again, allowing the feet to spread, the toes to drop out to the side, the palms to face up. And as you take a deep breath in, imagine the whole body filling with air, filling with vitality, almost like a balloon. And then as you exhale deeply and you draw your navel back to the spine, we soften, we sink, and we surrender into the ground. Keep breathing like this, expanding, becoming expansive in yourself, expansive in your awareness before exhaling, surrendering, sinking. You have the option to remain here in this feeling of rest, or you can begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes, rotating the ankles and the wrists, perhaps taking a stretch by bringing the arms above your head, bringing the knees into the chest and rocking from side to side, rubbing the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands together, revitalizing, re-energizing our nervous system before taking the right knee in the left hand, extending the right arm and dropping the right knee over to the left hand side. Take a breath before coming back to center and taking the left knee over, repeating the arm gestures. Coming back to the center, rocking, from, rocking forward or backward on the spine three times before coming into a comfortable seated position. We're going to end our practice the way we began with three arm sweeps and tuning out. Inhale, sweeping the arms, exhale to breath. Again, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale to prayer. Prayer to heart center. Tuning out our practice, creating an energetic seal or bubble by saying aloud, Sad Nam. Truth is my identity. Bring our prayer to our third eye, the point between our brows. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way. Bring that prayer back to your heart, thinking of something you're truly grateful for that fills your heart with love, and then send those feelings of joy, happiness, and bliss out into the universe by taking our hands to the ground. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.